I love challenges and I'm internally motivated. When I was in high school, I was a student teaching assistant for an English as a New Language class. In this class, uh, students who didn't know English or what just came from another country were able to be taught English by um, a couple of our t teachers in our district, along with uh, aides like myself. A new student came from Egypt and he knew no English. And in order for my teacher to most help the other students, I volunteered to help him uh, single-handedly. At the beginning, he just started off with, you know, what holding up a crayon, be like, what color is this? And it was amazing to see by the end him be able to hold a conversation about how his weekend was. I was internally motivated to help the student be able to communicate with other students and challenged myself to be able to have the patience to do it. My top three strengths would be that I'm passionate, persistent, and that I'm in internally motivated by end results. In life, there is usually little to derail me when I put my mind to something, and that is something I pride myself on. One of the biggest risks that I have taken um, throughout my life is was coming to Kelly. Uh, not being a direct admit into the Kelly School of Business, I had to take the risk of uh, not getting in and having to figure out my next steps or a plan B. Uh, the risk taught me a lot about myself and showed me um, that I have a passionate, persistent, hardworking ethic uh, that succeeds when you put your mind to something. My risk paid off and I was fortunate enough to be admitted to the Kelly School of Business the summer after my freshman year at IU. To get from unlimited free cash flows from net income, you first have to get uh, to EBIT. You take your net income plus interest plus taxes, and that gets you to uh, in earnings before interest and taxes. You take that and you multiply EBIT by one minus the tax rate plus any uh, DNA uh, minus any capex and and uh, subtract any increase in net working capital or just in working capital. Uh, the reason why you add taxes back only to subtract them again is because uh, taxes are incorporated into like net income uh, and are levered, which we need to find the unlevered amount. Price over EBITDA and EV over earnings do not work. Both price and EV are not levered and the EBITDA and earnings are, so uh, the equations do not work. Account for interest payments on the cash flow statement in the operating activities because the interest payments are something that are the daily day-to-day -day business of a company.